Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a quiz into a Canvas Studio that you're using for your classes. Let's get started. All right, let's begin by logging into Canvas. And we're going to go into Studio here. So this left nav navigation panel, I'm going to hit Studio. And then I'm going to navigate, this is my library, I'm going to navigate to the video that I want to embed the quiz in. And so here's the video that I made not too long ago. I'm going to hit these three dots. And I'm going to go up to Quizzes. So we already, as a test, created a quiz into this, but I'm going to do it again. So then you're going to hit add quiz. So we'll name it fun quiz. We're having fun. And you can hide question markers on timeline for students. You can display annotations if you like. Let's get started. And then you'll play the video. And so I want to put a question right there, and so I pause it, and then this little plus here, I just hit that, and I get to decide. Do I want a true or false question, multiple answer? I want a multiple choice question. And so the question will be, how many vowels in the sign behind Ryan? How many vowels in the sign behind Ryan? And ask questions has five. One where they A and ask and four in questions. So this indicates the correct answer. So that's five, and then we'll put in some other answers here. Three, two, say zero. You can shuffle these choices so that they appear differently to each student that takes the quiz. Let's say that you want a correct answer to be worth, to say two points, and maybe one that's close could be worth one point. You would do that by by varying the points by answer. And then what's neat is you can provide feedback for the question. So maybe correct for the correct answer or so close for the incorrect one or um, you know, remind students of, oh, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. You know, put Y in there. Okay, we're going to save that, and then we continue on. So I'll pause it there, and I'm going to add another question by hitting the plus. We'll do another multiple choice, and the question is, what color is Ryan's jacket? And the correct answer is, looks gray to me. And we'll put in some other answers, we'll say white, we'll say red, I don't know, blue. And we'll shuffle the choices, question feedback. Yay, not quite. It's gray. And then one more, we'll add. And I want to add the third one there. How many fingers am I holding up? One last multiple choice. The correct answer, other answers. Uh, let's say here, we won't add any feedback. We'll save it. And then, uh, then we're done. So we'll hit done over here. And so now when we click these three dots and we go to quizzes, uh, we have the one I made earlier that you didn't see and the one that I just made, fun quiz. So, so there it is. Okay, now 
that we have the quiz embedded into the video. Now we want to get that into a specific course so that our students can watch the video and take the quiz, right? So let's do it. So I'm going to go into a Canvas shell that I have for a course coming up. And you can see I was testing this before. And um, let's just start from scratch, make a new module, call this test two. And so in a, in a module, you're going to add an assignment. So you might think, oh, I'm going to add a quiz. And you might be able to do it that way, I don't know. But I know assignment works. And we'll call this really fun quiz. Well, let's see. Uh, see, I've, I did this a couple times, so I don't want to make sure that. We'll just call it really fun quiz <laughs> to disambiguate. Really fun quiz. All right. Okay, so now we need to click into that and we need to edit it. And so we'll do that by clicking here. And some of, I know what some of you might be thinking, oh, I know how to get a Canvas Studio video into this assignment. That's what this little icon is for. Like this one, okay, that looks like YouTube, yeah. And then this one, you can see it says Canvas Studio, that pops up. And it might work that way, but I, I, that might be a dead end. So I, I just would be careful about doing it that way. And. I don't even know if you need to type anything into this description here. So um, I'll just put take the quiz or watch the video and take the quiz. So three questions, three points. You can put in any assignment group you want. You can change this as you will. Now here's where it, uh, people get tripped up. So submission type, instead of no submission, you're going to scroll down to external tool and then you're going to click find and you're going to look for canvas studio and then our library is going to pop up and we want uh, this one so this is the video that I just made the quiz for so I'm going to hit select and then I'm going to go, okay, this is the other thing you have to remember. Instead of standard embed, you need to go to video quiz embed. And because I, um, I just made, I made two, so you get to pick which one. So you could have two different quizzes in the same video. That's pretty cool. So um, you'll pick, you'll pick that. And then, oh, you know, I had difficult, so you might, this is kind of, this is real time, this is a headache that I had before. It might take a little bit, we just made the quiz, it might take a bit to process, and so that's what I was, I was noticing before. So, I'm going to, I'm going to embed, I'm going to put in the quiz that I made, you know, like a half an hour ago, and I bet you it's going to work. I'm going to go back here video quiz embed and I'm gonna go to for fun the one I just made was fun quiz but the one I did earlier was for fun I'm gonna hit embed and there it went so if you have any difficulties maybe it just needs to process a little bit you can choose however many attempts you want and you can assign it a due date Take the 4th of July, why not? That's a fun day, isn't it? And we're gonna save and publish. And it's ready to go. So when we go back home, and uh, let's publish this module. And now I'm gonna go into student view. And here we have uh, the fun quiz. And it looks like the really fun quiz popped up too. That's good. So it ended up working. I'm going to click into really fun quiz. And let's start the quiz. Welcome everyone. Let's do a little quiz. How many vowels are in the letters in the sign? neon behind me. 
And what's great is the video pauses when it's time for the question. So I just love that. And so we can put our correct answer. And we can put an incorrect answer if we want. Maybe I'll do that on the second one. How many vowels are in the neon sign behind me? Five. Continue. So I, you could tell I inputted that question just a little bit too early. And so I could go back and edit that if I wanted to. So let's put a wrong answer here. Let's say a student wants to like, I need to rewatch that again. So a student might say, oh, you didn't quite say what it is. So I need to rewatch that. And then you get the bunch of the torrent of emails from your students saying, well, you, you, you put the question in the wrong place. Oh, but then you hear it and then they can go back and re-answer. So they can go, oh, no, I want to change it. So they just can click back to the question if they want to change their answer. Oh, it's, it's gray. And then it'll pop up and then we'll put, uh, let's put an incorrect answer so we can see if we get uh, feedback. And then the video concludes and we submit it. And we can automatically see the results if we're the student. And it says, oh, we got two out of three. Oh no, I wish we got more. Oh, too bad. Well, let's see. Oh, I see five vowels. Okay, good. Here's the feedback, general feedback. Yes. Oh, close. Oh, it was, I gave a peace sign as two fingers. I see. Good, 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 good. And um, what's cool is the, the, this quiz, it'll, automatic, it'll automatically populate into the Canvas gradebook, which is, which is just great, which is just great. All right, so that was how to embed a quiz into a Canvas Studio video, which I think um, it's a pretty powerful tool. And it was a little tricky. I had to work out, I had to kind of, I, I had to do a little bit of troubleshooting, but we kind of went through some of that together. So um, I hope that was helpful. As always, thanks for hanging out with me.